Hello and welcome to this video. In our last discussion, we identified two trends in the February 2023 diversity visa cutoff numbers, which we said would be discussed. And so, in the first of two videos, today we will be considering the first group, that is, the regions and exceptional countries who had their January 2023 cutoff numbers maintained for the month of February 2023. That is what we are discussing in this video. Let's go into it. So yes, we are talking about those regions and exceptional country that had their cutoff number for the month of January maintained for the month of February. Prominent in that group is the Europe region. This first group also includes North America and Iran. But when it comes to North America, it is a normal thing because of the size of the North America region, you usually have their cutoff number repeated throughout the fiscal year. And so, in essence, we are actually talking about Europe and Iran. The cutoff number for Europe was established at 6,000 100 for the month of December and then it was increased to a high extent to 15,000 for the month of January. And then in the case of Iran, it was established at 3,000 for the month of December and then it was increased as well to a high extent to 5,500 for the month of January. And then when it comes to the month of February, something happened and both of those cutoff numbers were maintained. So the question is, what happened that caused the cutoff numbers in both of these locations to be maintained for the month of February? The answer is simple. Both of those locations had their cutoff numbers increased too much the previous month. From 6,100 to 15,000 in the case of Europe, and then from 3,000 to 5,500 in the case of Iran. I explained in the past that the movements in the visa bulletin are meant to create a balance between the visas that will be available during the month concerned on the one hand, and the number of applicants that are made eligible to receive those visas on the other hand, which we refer to as supply or availability of visas and demand for visas respectively. So in simple terms, the numbers that were established for both of those locations for the month of January made so many applicants eligible for visas, whereas the actual number of visas that will be available during the month of January will not be able to cover all of those applicants. And so what the visa office has done is to maintain those numbers for the month of February, which means that no new applicants have been added to those who were made eligible for the month of January so that the visa that will be made available for the month of February will also be used to serve those many applicants that were made eligible for visa for the month of January, which the actual number of visas available for January will not be able to cover. So that is the explanation in the simplest of terms. Now, the next visa bulletin is going to be important for both of those locations because it's going to tell us the extent to which the cases or applicants that were made eligible for interview during the month of January have been dealt with. In case the number of visas that will be available for the month of February in both of those locations happen to serve all of those applicants or all of those cases that the visa bulletin made eligible for interview during the month of 
January, then it means that we will see a return to normalcy in both of those locations. In other words, we will have their respective cut of numbers increase just a bit in the coming visa bulletin. But if, on the other hand, the number of visas that will be available during the month of February for both of these locations do not cover the applicants or cases that have been made eligible to receive them, then the cutoff numbers in both of those locations could be maintained for yet another month. But this second scenario is the more unlikely one of the two. Another thing that maintaining the cutoff numbers in both of these regions suggests is that the DV 2023 program appears to be a normal or close to normal program in both of these locations. The explanation concerning the balance between supply of visas and demand of visas that I provided earlier is what you see at work whenever you have a normal diversity visa program year or a program year that is close to normal. In the coming week, we expect to have the first official SEAC data for the DV 2023 program. And when those data are released, we will be able to tell things like the highest case numbers in each region. And that is going to help us to determine the chances that cases have of being scheduled for interview. The closer your case number is to the highest case number in your region, the lower your chances are of being scheduled for interview. And the further away from the highest case number, your case number is, the higher your chances are of being scheduled for interview. This is something that we are going to consider in detail next week, but as I said earlier, it's something that applies, especially when you have a normal diversity visa program year. And so having signs of a normal diversity visa program year in both of these locations, it means that such analysis will apply more accurately in both of these locations than in other regions and exception countries. It is not just the chances that applicants have when it comes to being scheduled for interview, but every other thing for that matter. Once a region or a location shows sign of a normal diversity visa program year, then every other thing that accompanies a normal diversity visa program year also accompanies that region or that location. Another thing that we can look forward to in both of these locations is the case number order. The case number order will be more respected. It will apply more in both of these locations as compared to other regions and exceptional countries. We will see that more in detail in the upcoming video. Now, one thing I must add is that each of these locations is independent of the other, meaning that not because both of them had their cutoff number for the month of January maintained for the month of February, therefore the same is going to apply for the rest of the fiscal year. No. It is possible for them both to have the same fate when the next visa bulletin is published, but it is also possible for their fate to be different. You could have, for example, the Europe region to be maintained, whereas Iran is increased or vice versa, or you could have both of them increased or both of them maintained. So, not because they were maintained together and we are discussing them together, so it means that they are going to remain as they are throughout the rest of the fiscal year. 
So what we can retain concerning this first group, the group that had their January cutoff numbers maintained for the month of February, is that they seem to be showing signs of a normal diversity visa program year as compared to all other regions and exception countries, which is a good sign from the perspective of how the diversity visa program should be administered. So this brings us to the end of the first video concerning these two groups that we talked about in our last video. Hopefully we will discuss the next group in the next video. But for today, that is all. Thanks for watching this video. In case you are being helped by the videos on this channel and you wish to give back, then you are welcome to make your voluntary donation by going to the channel homepage and clicking on the Donate Here button at your upper right hand corner. And I will see you very soon in our upcoming discussion on the next group of regions and exceptional countries from the January 2023 Visa Bulletin.